I support a lot of what President Biden has done since becoming president. I mean, I have a great respect and admiration for him as a person. And I understand he inherited this agreement of February 2020, which, which was very difficult. And I also understand if you're a political leader, you're under political pressure, people, people want the engagement to end. But we've got to realize we were in a situation where our engagement was dramatically different from where it was 10 years ago, never mind 20 years ago, and where we could have managed the situation. And the problem with what, what's happened now, and this is, this is my worry, is it's not just about the Afghan people and our obligation to them. And, and obviously, you know, you feel, I mean, distressed when you see when you see people realizing what they're going to lose as a result of the Taliban coming back into power. But it's not just about the Afghan people, it's about us and our security. Because you've now got this group back in charge of Afghanistan. They will give um, protection and succor to Al-Qaeda. You've got ISIS already in the country trying to operate at the same time. You know, you, you look around the world and the only people really cheering this decision are the people hostile to Western interests. We had a manageable situation, we could have carried on managing it and helping the country. But it's also because in the end, and as I say, I say this despite I've got a huge respect for Joe Biden as a, as a, as a president and as a person, a policy can't be decided by a slogan. It's got to be decided on the basis of a strategy. And that's a different thing. And that's really the purpose of what I was saying.